stupid, smelly ass, no pictures, please, <laughs> secret marriage. Woo! So uh, congratulations on the on the movies. I, I watched it again last night. It's fantastic. I had a, had a ball with it. So, Thank I mean, the, the first question, I know that you, you screened it. You, the world premiere was at the Panic Fest just recently. Yeah. How, how did that go down? It must have gone down really well. Like, it's, it's the perfect kind of midnight festival screen, uh, kind of film to screen, no? Yeah, yeah, no. They seem to really like it at Panic Fest. So it was it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Oh, there was, there was, was there any sp specific way, any special way that you, you celebrated the, uh, the screening? Did you do anything special as you go afterwards to celebrate? uh yeah not not really we we were pretty tired after so yeah. uh yeah no we're we're um in salem now so i guess this is part of our celebration the salem film festival is right. uh, we're showing on saturday night there Showing tomorrow we, yeah that's right yeah yeah but i've been i got here on monday and my girlfriend met me on tuesday so we've been making a little trip out of it Oh, brilliant. So, I mean, going back to the film, um, I, it's kind of—I think it was kind of happenstance that it all fell into place, though, because you had this. I think, if I'm not mistaken, you shared the same manager with yeah. with Chrissy, right? And that and kind of yeah. through her, you, you you also recorded a podcast with her as well, something like that. So you've kind of had yeah. a, a couple of things that you've worked together before. But how did this actual kind of this project come to fruition? Was it was it they they gave you the script through kind of mutual connections, and you you kind of clicked with it? Um, well, no, I, I worked with Christy. We became really close friends and I had started talking to her a little bit about just, you know, uh, you know, what, what their process was like and started talking about, maybe, you know, potentially, um, uh, producing something with them. And so when Barry, the bride script was done, I read it and, uh, and really liked the script and then you know, pretty much made a decision on the on the spur of the moment to to get more involved with this. So, because the the, the tropes that it does kind of navigates are from a very crowded subgenres. No, what what was yeah. it specifically about this film that kind of enticed you to to want to do this one? Kind of because you thought it would stand out from similar kind of films in a similar realm. Right. So yeah, I mean, I like I like the the kind of twists and turns and and. and some of the reveals. Um, I really, I think probably what, you know, sold me a hundred percent was the end. I really love the end of this film. I find it very satisfying, um, you know, and, and it just, you know, as I was reading it, I could really picture everything happening, which a lot of times, you know, with scripts, you just don't do that. You know, they're hard to get through They're you know, you get, you can't really get a feel for it. And with Barry the Bride, as I read it, I could just see it. Like I literally, it, it was like watching a film, reading it. Uh -huh. So I mean, it's uh, quite curious that you said that you could picture it in your mind. I mean, I don't, I think we were allowed to say that you don't, you know, you don't have the gift of the gap in this film. You don't speak a great deal, but yeah. at the same time, it's kind of, it's one of the most memorable characters because a lot of films that I've seen, a lot of the most memorable characters tend to be, people who, who kind of don't speak and then all of a sudden maybe they'll, they'll, they'll speak a little bit but the ones that yeah. are kind of remain silent the, they're the ones that they say you get you need to be the most wary of no but they're also end up being pretty much the most memorable characters in the film was that something that kind of struck you as well when you read the script because obviously you wouldn't have had much to, to read for you to kind of speak yeah, yeah. to say in the film honestly um i when i first read it and signed on i didn't know what part i was playing yet Right. So, uh, and then when Chrissy said, yeah, we want you to play puppy, my first thought was, he doesn't speak. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? He doesn't say anything. And as actors, we like to speak. So, uh, and she was just kind of was like, please, you know, just trust me. This character is going to be really impactful. You know, when you do finally speak and tell your story, it's going to be you know, a, a turning point in the film and, and, you know, have a lot of impact. And so I was like, all right, I'm going to trust you and, um, and let's do this. And, and she was totally right. So, uh -huh. but, I mean, for me, I think it, I'm not, I mean, I'm obviously I'm not an actor, but I, I imagine that not being able to speak and to express things through your face must be just a whole, just, you have to hold your yeah. ball game. No, you have to completely learn how to act all over again. No, in a way. 
Yeah, no, I mean, it was, it was a di definitely a different experience. And I was trying to, you know, as I, I have this moment where my story is going to be revealed, um, I was trying to yeah, lay down, I guess, the foundation with, with my facial expression and body language and everything um, to, you know, to what this character has been through and, um, and why, you know, he's kind of strange, why he doesn't speak. And so that was, yeah, it was, it was a challenge, but I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Then I want to talk to you a little bit about, uh, little bit about Spider and Chrissy. Obviously, they both wrote the script mm -hmm. together. Yeah. But then it was, it was Spider was the, the director. So I'm curious that when it came to actually getting on set, was, was it specifically Spider's the director, Chrissy is now just an actress, or was there kind of a, uh, kind of a free hand there? No, they the have, as well? Yeah, I mean, they have a, you know, they have a collaboration where, um, I mean, it was definitely, you know, Spider was directing, but Chrissy was, you know, is just a huge part of it as a, as the co-writer, as a producer. And also she's directed two films herself. So, and just, has a short now out in festivals that she wrote and directed um, called Hymns. So yeah, I think there was a, you know, there's a collaboration. It's definitely, you know, whoever's directing is, is, is kind of steering the ship, but there's a ton of collaboration between the two of them. Mm -hmm. And then speaking of Spider, obviously you work with Spider and then you work, I think you work briefly with Rob Zombie as well, now his brother. We're, yeah. we're working with with two um, directors who've kind of they they start but they cut their teeth in the musical world. Have you noticed? Right. Do you notice kind of a big difference between kind of being directed by someone who's cut their teeth as a director or as an actor compared to someone who started off in the musical world? Not really. No. I mean, no. I think that no. I'm, I mean, I didn't. Um, I mean, I've, I mean, I worked. You know, I worked with Rob, but it was. You know, I spent we shot up my scene in 30 minutes. So, yeah. you know, I can't, you know, I, I, I mean, it was a great experience, but I can't say that I know what, you know, working with Rob as a director is truly like, but I do know, you know, what it's like to work with Spider. And he's a, you know, he's a very generous director for actors. Um, he also has kind of a, a classic, you know, older school, I think it, that's where his influences come from. I mean, Spider and I are about the same age. So, right. um, and yeah, I really, I mean, I, I really enjoyed working with him. He's, he's, a, he's a very good director. I mean, you mentioned that, that you, you're about the same age and that you have probably a similar kind of influences. Did he, did, yeah. he, did he suggest anything that you maybe should watch or read or anything to kind of get into the tone of the film at all? Not really. Um, you know, they suggested a couple things to, to, to that, you know, kind of visually or tonally were, you know, might be similar, but nothing, you know, nothing that was a huge, you know, a huge influence in this. This is really was an original thing that that, you know, Chrissy came up with this idea kind of based on growing up and her family and knowing these, you know, her brother's friends and knowing the kind of guys that, you know, made up our group in the film. And, um, and she, but she really wanted to kind of, you know, do something a little different with, you know, the, the kind of different tropes in this film and um and and one of them being that you know god how can i say this without giving up away uh, what we end up finding out about the guys is it's kind of antithetical to how we usually see those type of characters portrayed you know usually um you know, sophisticated and you dressed impeccably. And, and I know that you know, Chrissy really liked this idea of, of kind of, you know, a different, a different look and vibe for, for what we ultimately are, uh, mm -hmm. you know? So that was something that she, you know, that, that was kind of, I think the, the beginning influences of, where she started from and and you know i think you know she wrote 
the script first and then kind of handed it off to Spider and they, you know, made changes and stuff together. But like that initial kernel of, of idea just, I think, hit Chrissy one day. Yeah, that's yeah. My, that's what that was one of that was one of my my uh, qu pre my questions that I would written down. It was actually kind of because we we see these antagonists of these kind of these backwoods bumpkins, if you will, and yeah. then on the, on the other hand, the the protagonists are like these 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 women who kind of want to keep up appearances. They're talking about so, kind of on social media, these kind of things. I imagine, right. like you said, I'm, from what you said, I'm, I imagine that was kind of like the the genesis for the whole film. Really, was that what came first before all of the the, the kind of the horror aspect of the film? Did you talk about I that? Think I mean, I from you know again. So I'm I'm going. This is other other people could talk better to this, but I know that you know the relationship with with June and Sadie, the two sisters in this film. You know, for them was really the heart of the film, the kernel of the film, and 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 you know, Chrissy has two sisters, so I know it was very personal, you know, for her in that part of the story, and then I think they kind of you know, built from that kernel out is is how I understand it. Mm -hmm. They give me the wraps. I just want just to, I'll, I'll leave you with this question. So I know that you, I, uh, I understand that you've uh, caught the uh, working with Spider and Chrissy bug because I understand that you're going to be uh, working on something again sometime soon. Is that right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're all, uh, you know, uh, in pre-production right now for the next film. And um, it's going to be very different from Barry the Bride, but I think equally as amazing. And uh, yeah, just looking forward to, to getting home and, and starting to work, you know, get that together. Brilliant. Well, listen, thanks, thanks so, much you, so much for your time. And I wish you the, uh, the best of luck with the, the film. And it go, when, I wish you all the best of luck with the film and the festival tomorrow and when it comes out on Tubi today. Thank you. I appreciate all right. it. Take care. All the best. Much appreciated. All Take right. care now. Bye now. <laughs>